All right, I am using the HyperX Quadcast for the mic. Uh, I still don't have the Leica adapter for the Leica SL for the wireless uh, lav mic, but uh, this would do and this mic is pretty good uh, if you watched the last video. So very excited today with what I have on my hand from Crutchfield. The thing about Crutchfield is there's no markings on the box. Uh, there's no listing of contents. You don't even know if it comes from crutchfield.com. I don't even see um, the return address. It doesn't even say Crutchfield on it and the tape to use is basic. Um, so I hope this is the camera in this box. So blade, let me take on this blade. Unboxing of the Fujifilm X-T4. Very sharp blade. This is not my camera, by the way. This is my friend's camera. And he was nice, nice enough to let me unbox it for you guys. Okay. Ooh, here it is. Crushful support manual. Inside, see what real support looks like. I'm not too sure what this is but by Bill Crutchfield saying, welcome to the family. Okay, I'm too excited to read through that. We have the Fujifilm X-T4 in silver color. Packed good with packing peanuts. Good weight. I did have an X-T1, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> long time ago, um, but <coughs> I haven't personally purchased the X-T2, but I did use someone else's X-T3 um, for the review. And recently the um, X-H1 for review on the channel. Okay, so let's unbox this. Get this out of the way. Sorry, Leica, you have to move. Okay. Sis over, <coughs> excuse me, my voice says over here on the box. Silver on the other side as well. Actually, this I was saying this is very hard to get the color for some reason. Uh, there was a lot of um, black color, but not silver. So on top you have English. Oh no, one is Spanish, Espanol, and E M for English. Two manuals here, and this looks like. Uh, Capture one. Let's just open this carefully. Do you get a Capture One subscription or Capture One is kind of expensive now? I think it's just Capture One Express free download. Okay. Uh, additional paperwork here. Safety about the battery. Battery is not charged at time of shipment. Also forgot to mention there is no lithium sticker on the box as well. Okay, so I don't know if we can actually turn this on during this unboxing. Okay, after we remove the first part, I can actually see the camera right away. I'm just gonna put this here and see what's underneath. Okay. I'm assuming it's the cables on the charger. Okay, it just comes out like that. I'll put the box, put the box behind me. And box opens like that. Bottom, we have the strap, which looks really nice. Very thick. I just see Fujifilm on it. I don't see X-T4 or X-Series. Really nice. Uh, looks like we have a USB-C to USB-C. If I remember correctly with the X-T4, you can actually charge the battery uh, in the camera while you're traveling. So if you have a power bank, you can plug it into your power bank and charge the battery while traveling. 
like if you're on the bus going to the next location very nice this looks like an adapter many people don't know this but the xt4 only has the mic input so if you're doing video it comes with the usb-c to headphone jack so you don't need to buy another adapter like I have to do for the Leica SL. Plug this in and you can have headphones while you're recording. This is one of the three improvements that the X-T4 has over the X-T3. Uh, first is of course IBIS in the camera. The only other Fujifilm camera that has IBIS is the X-H1. Uh, but the X-H1 uses X-Trans 3 sensor. This Fujifilm X-T4 uses the X-Trans 4 sensor and has IBIS. Second is the screen that comes out, which I'm going to show you. And third is a new battery, which lasts longer, is the NPW230-5 battery. Nice. And it looks like maybe the US plug adapter for the charger. Charger is right here. And I believe you just slide this on. And the charger, interesting, interestingly, has a USB-C. So you plug this into the wall and USB-C directly to the camera to charge it. It's not like the older style. I'm calling I'm calling this an older style now where um like with the Leicas, right? You have your additional extra charger external charger but now uh, with the newer cameras um, I believe they just want you to charge the battery in in the camera I don't see an external charger here but I'm pretty sure you can purchase one okay just gonna put this here uh, for the camera itself move this aside oops remember it's not my camera I'm touching this for the first time. Very beautiful color. Fujifilm X-T4. Compared to the X-T3, this is a little bit longer and a little bit taller, but they have improved the grip, which feels really, really great right now. Uh, remember IBIS inside here, big change. Second is the screen at back. Very, very big change. Looks really nice when you close it. Also protects protects the screen when you're traveling, so don't get scratched. Opening this up, really nice. You can flip it, it reminds me of the G9. Just gonna do vlogging. Flip it back. Let's put in the battery. I don't think it has any charge. Only goes in one way. And this does take dual UHS-2 cards, uh, which I have here that I'm going to put in. I have the Sony UHS-2 cards, but let's try to turn this on. Let me open the screen first. Flip it over here. And they're not lying. It comes fully discharged. So maybe that's why they don't need to put, in, uh, put on a lithium sticker on the box because it doesn't come charged at all. So let's just uh, go around the camera. Top, you have the nice dials, exposure compensation, shutter speed, ISO. Um, a lot of people are mentioning that the Q button for the menu is actually uh, further in the body so you don't accidentally hit it. On the left side, this looks really flush. So you can take this out. Mic input, remote input. Remember the adapter. 
the adapter for the USB-C for the headphone jack does come with it. So you got to plug in here. Also access charging the battery in the camera. Um, but wow, really nice camera, really nice color as well. All right, hopefully soon uh, I can do a photo shoot with this camera for you guys. Uh, just need to ask my friend if it's okay. But I still need to do the reviews for um, the lenses I have for the Leica M system and as well as um, the Leica M9P. So this may be a little bit later, but uh, I think my friend is actually maybe the first one on island, um, the island of Guam to get a XT4. Thank you guys for watching Guam Photography and if you haven't, please subscribe.